They'll be calling you a radical. We finally, finally, after two years, we've got a little bit of information on USS Reagan. <clears throat> this is how pathetic the wheels of injustice work. So Janice rules. I mean, I was at the hearing August 25th, huh? That isn't that long ago. No, 2014. That's where we had the hearing. She took her time and ruled in October. Case goes forward as G freaking TEPCO had filed motions to dismiss. Here we go again. So how is this even possible? Is it bad attorneying on the plaintiff's part? I don't believe so. Is it illegal what's going on? General Electric's liquidating their entire freaking portfolio while litigation is pending. They've sold off how many of their freaking illegally, illegally, illegally. This is a big deal. Why? Because the moment San Francisco is opening today, right now as we speak. Now, who built the nuclear industry? Who built the reactors at? I think it's so important to people to understand that I did all this work in the belly of the beast at this university. This is the university of the greatest war profiteers in human history. This is the art school that threw me out because I was anti-nuclear as and what a feather in my cap. So here's what happened. Finally, there's some rulings and some motions. So TEPCO again has filed a motion, wrong venue. They're playing the Fireman Act. They're playing all these acts, which they already did that. How can this even, what, what's, the, what's going on here? They did that two years ago. So I want to know why for two years, absolutely nothing. Why were you not having a freak procedure? Why is not the whole thing going forward? I mean, what, you just rule and then just forget it? Heads they win, tails they win? It doesn't matter? I mean, I mean, talk, I mean, we're talking 32 ships went in there. This, and everybody says it's only a billion dollar loss. This opens the floodgates. Trust me, I watch, I know who all these freaking big tort attorneys who are lining up, grabbing in, I watch who's grabbing hold of freaking FOIA documents and whatever. I got news for you. I, I've got stuff that you'll never get in a FOIA document, and I'll, I'll, I'll disclose it if that trial ever gets freaking rolling. So, as the MoMA opens today in San Francisco, never forget who this museum is. The Gap. Who is the Gap? Yeah, they're fishers. They're fishers why the Pacific Ocean is dying. Genocide, genocide, gene, genocide. Right at San Francisco. By the way, read the critique of the New York Times on the building. I agree with it. Read the critique of what's in there. I mean, come on. They got nada. Weakling art? Oh, yeah. Same old regurgitation? Yeah. I mean, it's such a weakling art. Thing. Now, remember, never forget the gap. The original great Bangladesh, these Turk slave owners, I mean, you know, made in America. <laughs> They're the ones that started this whole thing. Shirtwaist fire. Let's, I mean, let's get real. The United States is in the throes of the usury complex to the hundredth power. This is the most usury, immoral, to, and I'm, not t I'm talking economically, socially, thing of humans in the history of mankind. We make up less than 3% of the United world's population. We consume at 40%. Look, it used to be a big deal. Remember we had Kathy Lee Gifford? These are slave camps, and it all orchestrated out of freaking the Bay Area of California. Right there, they're house of fuck. You know, so the only thing they have any strength in it, they have a couple of Jackson. Jackson's the only American art. You know, they got some Warhol. So who doesn't? Who doesn't? You can't travel anywhere without being a Warhol freaking thing. So the, they file another motion, the exact same identical motion. Now, here we go. How can we possibly go two years with nothing? Nothing. After she rules, it goes forward. It opens it to G. How can we possibly do that? Yeah, and now this same motion gets refiled. This is, uh, I mean, it, what's the Fourth Amendment, the Fifth Amendment, the Sixth Amendment? Uh, Patriot Act, freaking the ultimate amendment. No, the ultimate slaughter. Oh, we're a democracy. We're not. This is what a democracy looks like. Everybody skip the third grade. We've never been in Marx. We're a republic with a constitution. Freaking, how many time, votes does it take to amend the United States Constitution? Two thirds, freaking Senate and House. Well, how'd they do that with the Patriot Act? It's illegal act. You know, it'll take a long time for them to overthrow everything they ever did. Illegal justice, the lead on Roberts shouldn't even be on the bench, so he didn't win. And then this Kamali Harris, as the whole thing's going on, the PG&E's, TikTok, San Onofre, looting clock. By the way, guaranteed yesterday that PV was there. He's one of your San Francisco elite public celebrities who looted how many billions from San Onofre? Right as the greatest catastrophe in human freaking history is ongoing, 
in California, in the Bay of San Francisco, called the Great Pacific Genocide. More dead wells have washed up there in the past two years than the previous hunter combined. It's a freaking, scientists are mystified, they're puzzled, they're baffled. Scientists are not scientists. They play on the winning team. So it's an important it. short day. There's that real fucking asshole right there. So, as time goes on, perfect example right there. He's a mortgage freaking scam artist, bro. You know, so, it's a big deal. So, how is this even possible, the wills of injustice? Just remember who built the reactors at Fukushima. Yeah, I said it right here, right here on this university many times. It's going to happen at Fukushima, Chaman, or San Onofre, or Diablo. It's going to happen. That's who built these. You know, the house of fuck. So, we clean art in that place. That's what it sounds like to me. It sounds like it's a whole bunch of really two floors of donated 100 years of California modernism. What, 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 what? Show me the California modernism. The California only California modernism art that's been done in the last five years. I did it. I did it on the freaking walk in the freak for the central line hanging out of my juggler. Ooh, ooh, that's hardcore radical freaking art, Jackson. No, we penny pay. You know, here, here's exactly what Cal San Francisco art reminds me of all of it. Last freaking how long? You seen the movie Big Eyes? Big Eyes is the perfect example of these people and whatever. So this is a, it's an absolute injustice to all the Reagan troops, to all, the 32 ships, to the hundreds of thousands of military personnel. Remember, the Navy wanted them all off, all out. The Navy went into a tomb, to a tomb. Did they? No. One guy made them stand down. One guy. Only one guy has the power to make the United States Navy stand down. The Commander in Chief, Barack Obama. Who? At Berkeley. At Berkeley. Livermore. John Holdren. The eugenicist? Oh, yeah. I mean, look it up. Look it up. You know, so... Stand to what, a, what an injustice to hundreds of... Oh, we love the troops. We love the troops. I'm the only freaking activist there. The only person out there. 2013. They had a Little League football camp on the USS Reagan. Sleepover. This is how evil these people are. This charge is practiced on. Oh, I'm the only person there. The only freaking. Act. I'm uh, talking to the Navy. You know, they're at the Swartz hearing. I'm the only one there. And Libby shows up the next year. You know, Lori and I doing our work there. We love the troops. We love the troops. Well, no, you don't. You hate the troops. As long as they're doing all your freaking dirty freaking work for you. It's disgusting. So, here we go. I want to make sure I got this video posted on this day. So here's the rulings, what's going on on the Reagan, which is just a scam. It's a, beyond an injustice, it's so totally illegal how this is playing out, this case. It's so disgusting, it's unbelievable. How many hundreds of thousands of troops did they radiate? <laughs> you don't care. By the way, the scrub down they used on the foam at the Reagan was banned two years earlier. They don't care. Just like my father, when the human lab rattled him in the Nevada test site decision made right there in San Francisco. By the way, that museum didn't even leave this town until 1964. Stay in tune it.